Hi, first grade, it's Mrs. Lloyd, and I'm back with another lesson. We're gonna be working on sounding out some more words today. And today, instead of working with our CH sound, we're gonna be working with the letters SH. When I put an S and an H together, it makes the SH sound. Like if my friend maybe is talking a little too loudly, I might need to remind them that they need to talk softer. So I might say SH. That's the sound that SH makes when I put those two letters together. Let's take a look at the other letters that I have up here. The first one we have is A, and A says ah. You say it, ah. Then we have D. D says d. Your turn, d. Then we have B. B says b. Your turn, b. Then we have F. F says f. Your turn. We have an H. H says H. Your turn. H. Then we have I. I says I. Your turn. I. We have W. W says W. Your turn. W. We have another W here. We're just going to skip over that one because we just did it. We have a letter O. O says Ah. Your turn. Ah. Letter P. P says P. Your turn. P. We have R. R says er. Your turn. Er. We have an S. S says s. Your turn. S. We have letter T. T says t. Your turn. T. And we have letter U. U says uh. Your turn. Uh. Good job. All right, I'm gonna start by pulling down our first vowel next to our SH, because remember, we always want to blend the first two sounds together and then add our ending to help us figure out what our word's going to be. So I'm gonna start with our SH. Remember when I put those two letters together, they say shh, you say it, shh. And then we have our O that says, ah, you say it, ah. When I put those two together, it says, sha, you try it, sha. Now let's pull down our last sound. So now we have shop. What's our word? Shop. Great job. All right, I'm going to switch things around just a little bit. I'm going to pull down a different vowel this time. This time I'm going to use the vowel U. We have our SH that says SH, and then we have our U that says UH. When I put those two together, it says SH. Your turn. SH. -t. What's our word? SHUT. Good job. Like shut the window or shut the door, please. Right? Very good. All right, I'm going to put these back up here and I'm going to pull down a letter I this time. And I'm actually going to put this letter I on the other side of our SH because SH can also go at the end of a word. And then I'm going to pull a letter D down too. So this is the beginning of my word this time because our SH is at the end. So we're going to start with these two letters right here, these two sounds. My first one is D, I. You try it, D, I. Then we're going to put those two together. D, SH. Do it one more time. D, SH. Our word is dish. Very good. All right. This time I'm only going to switch the first sound. I'm going to take away the d sound and add the letter F, which makes the f sound. Now we have f, i. Do that with me. F, i. Put those two together. We have fish. Do it one more time. Fish. Our word is fish. Great job. All right, let's try another one. I'm going to put these back 
and I'm going to pull down the letter U and a letter R for our first two sounds. So we have er, uh. Do that with me. Er, uh. Now let's put them together. Now we have rush. Do that one more time. Rush. Rush. Yeah, if you're in a rush, it means that you're in a hurry to do something. You're trying to go fast or trying to go quickly, right? Very good. All right, I'm going to put these back up there. And I have one last word for us. And this one's a little bit longer than the ones that we practiced so far. This one has three sounds at the beginning. So let's start with the first three, then we'll add our SH at the end. So the first sound is T. Er, ah. Do that with me. T. Er, ah. Now let's put all three of those together. It would sound like this. Trash. You do that with me. Trash. Our word is trash. Great job. That one was a little bit trickier, but I bet you did great with that. All right, I'm going to push these letters back up here. And while I'm doing that, um, I'm just going to remind you to keep practicing sounding out your words. Remember to sound out the first two sounds, put those together, then add the ending on, and it will help you hear what that word is um, and make it much easier when you're sounding things out. All right, I will talk to you soon. Great job, guys. Bye.